Morton. You have no idea what you have unleashed. What the hell? <laughs> She's unlike anything we've ever faced. Welcome to Prodigium. My character, Nick, he's just caught up in this whole world that he doesn't want to get caught up in. Who are you? I'm a doctor. My name is Jekyll, Dr. Henry Jekyll. The central character behind all the events of the movie is Dr. Henry Jekyll, famous for being Jekyll and Hyde. Dr. Jekyll operates a thing called Prodigium, and Prodigium essentially is an organization that pinpoints evil and tries to neutralize it. We recognize, examine, contain, destroy evil. They study the mythologies of monsters, the histories of them. Princess Arminette. She's selected you as the vessel for the ultimate evil. <laughs> it's a science for them. And what I liked about that idea was, if we're going to ground the monsters in a reality, then let's ground it in science. We liked the idea that Prodigium was hiding in plain sight in the Natural History Museum, and that Jekyll could use the resources of the museum to further his own research into monsters. Well, there's a lot to find out with Jekyll, and it's not giving too much away to say that he has quite a clear understanding of evil. It takes a monster to defeat a monster. I love the element of mystery. It's quite dangerous and exciting. <laughs> Just learn to be wary of a man like me. Welcome to a new world of gods and monsters. This isn't a tomb, it's a prison. You have no idea what you've discovered. Come to me. What I feel really separates great monster movies from other typical horror movies is that there's a real deep emotional investment in the characters. The hieroglyph said she was named Amunet, chosen to be Egypt's next queen. She's a princess who was promised to become Pharaoh, but then all that was taken away from her. Amunet goes through a huge series of transformations. Oh, we've mapped her out into five stages. Stage one, she is nothing but bone and rags. And then she pulls herself together literally into this form as she begins to feed. I saw her. She is real. I chose it. Sophie is perfectly cast as the mummy. Her soul is in her eyes, and she can't hide it. And that's her gift. All she has to do is look at the camera, and you're arrested immediately. I thought, there is literally no one else on the planet who can play this part. And the way that she moves physically is incredible. Amanet, she's a warrior. <clears throat> this project allowed me to push my limits. One of the great old adages is that the villain is the hero of their own story. I think that you will connect so deeply to her experience and to what she's been through because Sophia was amazing at that. The female mummy, what's her story? It grabs my attention. I want to see that movie. You can't escape. She's got plans for you. There are worse fates than death. You have no idea what you have unleashed. What the hell? How did you get out of that plane? There's not a single scratch on your body. You are alive because you were cursed. Cursed? 
inspired by it. The ultimate evil. Did you get out of that plane? There's not a single scratch on your body. You are alive because of what you brought on that plane. I remember being six years old and seeing the original Boris Karloff mummy and loving it. So to have the opportunity to create a monster movie in this day and age, it was very exciting. Whatever's in there has been safely hidden for 2,000 years. We want the audience to feel, what would it be like if a monster entered our world now. Do you have any idea what you have unearthed? And the idea of a female mummy I felt was inspiring and seductive. Sophia Batella is perfectly cast. Princess Amanet, she is a warrior. She is a survivor. She wanted to honor what she was about to become, but then all that was taken away from her. There are worse fates than death. She selected you as the vessel for the ultimate evil. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Welcome to Prodigium. My character, Dr. Jekyll, controls an organization called Prodigium. We recognize, examine, contain, and destroy evil. We have Russell Crowe, brilliant actor, and I was excited when he said that he wanted to be part of it. What you have released is unlike anything we've ever faced. <laughs> Tom said, this is bigger than anything I've ever done before. She will not stop until she has remade our world into her own. It's about great action. action. It's about suspense. Please stay with me. Don't leave me. And it's about real scares. It gives you such a sense of wonder. I just feel very proud to be part of it. I'm excited to reintroduce these classic monsters to a modern audience. I think the audience should expect to be excruciatingly terrified. <laughs> gonna have great action and real thrills. Oh no, we're gonna die! We want it to be wild and violent and erratic and spontaneous. Action! To have Tom Cruise in this movie is so huge for us. It just changes the game completely. His energy is infectious. He's gotta top himself every time action-wise. His passion, his drive, his determination lights the way for us all. He fills you up with this childhood enthusiasm where you're like, I want to make the movie that Tom sees. Tom, he's really good at pushing to keep it real. As much as I would love to slam my head against the wall for a few more times. <laughs> Tom's in the vehicle, and yeah, that brings on the nerves because he's a good driver and he's a fast driver. I really did think, okay, let's just put Stuntman in there, and then Tom's like, yeah, sure, I'll go in it. 
just found out I'll be running on a building that collapses. I say to Tom, let's pull the plug on this one, my dude. Let's bail out. And there's going to be that adrenaline rush, and you're going to love it, and then you're going to go like, all right, let's go again, and let's go again. He loves it. We're going zero gravity inside a real plane. Tom always pushes the boundaries, and this is one of those. Perfect. Yes. Right. Tom brings out the best of everybody he's in a scene with, and he brings every ounce of energy he has to his performance. I felt very brave around him. He inspired a bravery, and that's an incredible gift to give someone. I've never seen somebody that committed in my life, genuinely. To have everyone feel proud about the effort they've spent to make something of quality, that means a lot to me. It's the only actor in the world yeah. who could find the frame yeah. mid-air three times. <laughs> like, it's really me. It's me. It's, it's me. really me. It is it's me. me. safely hidden for 2,000 years. This isn't a tomb. It's a prison. Nick! The hieroglyph said she was named Amunet, chosen to be Egypt's next queen. But her thirst for power led her down a darker path, one that had to be stopped. Because of your actions, this ancient power has returned. You are alive because you were chosen. Chosen? By what? Evil. The ultimate evil. Legend has it she's a being of unimaginable powers. Now she's using you to regain them. <laughs> oh my she will not stop until she has remade our world into her own. Stay with me. I'm scared. I'm gonna figure this out. Don't leave me. You can't run. You can't escape. She's got plans for you. I grew up watching these monster movies when I was a little kid. I remember being utterly terrified. There is something about those first horror movies. Alex wants to give them proper honor. We owe the audience a monster movie. Here we go. The key for us was to tell a story that felt real. Our picture takes place in modern day. What's interesting about the way these stories are told is you identify with these classic characters. They terrify us, and yet you feel sympathy for them. 
Welcome to Prodigium. The sets are magnificent. They're beautiful. They're haunting. The world will feel enormous. Action! We shot a huge action sequence here in the heart of Africa. We're going zero gravity inside a real plane. Five, four, three, two, one. That's so good. Mike, you can do this. You can do this. Annabelle Wallace is great. She's never even done stunts before, and she's doing this. The cast, they're so talented. You have Russell Crowe and Jake Johnson, these guys that are fun to work with. Russell and I have known each other over 20 years. We've talked about working together, and now we're going to do this very cool fight. Sophia Boutella brings a true humanity to the mummy, even when she's doing horrifying things. <laughs> The audience you can expect to be excruciatingly terrified. Tom said, this is bigger than anything I've ever done before. It's like being on a roller coaster ride. That's what this film's gonna deliver. It's gonna keep you right in the edge of your seat. You're not gonna wanna take your eyes off the screen. It's a hell of a lot of fun.